this is Jake, and I'm going to take you through um, walking, uh, creating a new Google Calendar and sharing it publicly, and then also inviting other collaborators to edit that calendar. So if, to begin with, I want to make sure that I don't use my own calendar. I'm going to have to create a new one. So I'm going to go to Create. Oops, no, I'm not. Let's start over. I'm going to right-click on this arrow, or click on the arrow, and click on Create New Calendar, the drop-down arrow next to my calendars. So I'm going to create a new calendar. I'm going to call this one a public event calendar. And you could name it whatever you'd like to. I want to make sure that I click on this box that says share this calendar with others and make this calendar public so that everyone can see all the event details. Uh, if I choose only free or busy, it won't show. Um, it'll only show if there is an event or not, but it won't tell me what it is. So I want to make sure I choose see all event details. I believe that's everything I'm going to have to set here. Oh, I can also uh, add my specific collaborator collaborators here, so I can um, share with the email addresses for their Google accounts. Google account. So I added Joanna Oliver here, and instead of seeing all event details, she'll be able to make changes and manage the sharing, so she can share it out with others. So I'm going to go ahead and let so that she'll be able to create events. And she'll be able to again share it out to other people so that they can see the calendar also. So I'm going to create the calendar. It reminds me that making it public will let everybody see all the events and they'll also become available in Google search, which is a good thing if I'm trying to share those events out publicly. So I've created that calendar. It shows up here and I can change the color for it, but I want to make sure that, um, that it's shared correctly. So I'm going to right click or click again on that drop down arrow and go to the individual calendar settings. So now that I can see the calendar, if I click on HTML here, and again, if I click on the sharing, it should have Joanna shows up so that she can edit it, and it's public, everyone can see it, and can see all the event details. So I'm going to go look at this calendar. Now if I wanted to embed it, I would use this code right here, and I'd first click on the color size and all of these things to edit these so that I, I may not want to have the title of the calendar, public event calendar, show up. But if I want to embed it, then I use this HTML code. So that's if I actually want to put it inside of another website. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the event or the calendar settings. And again, on share this calendar, that was correct. So I would edit this to get the embed code. You don't get the options whenever you use a, a web page. So to look at this calendar as a web page, I can click on the HTML there, and then I can copy this email or this URL to share with others. Or if I click on that URL, I can see what the calendar is going to look like publicly. Now I haven't added any events to this calendar yet, so nothing shows up on it. But you don't see the option here that says that this calendar is only able to be viewed, or events on this calendar are only able to be viewed um, with the people that they are specifically shared with, or who has those permissions. So I can go back to the calendar, back to calendar here, and choose that calendar, make sure I'm on that calendar, and add an event. It's going to ask me every time I add an event which calendar I want to add it to. So I'll make sure it's public event calendar. I'll say this is um, early release, pretend we have an early release day for school today. And I'm going to create that event, it's on the public event calendar. So now if I go back to this calendar and refresh it, then that 1 p.m. early release will show up. So this is how it would work with everyone else. So that's pretty well the sharing settings that you'd need to check to make sure that everything's correct and that it would be able to be uh, shared publicly. Again, for embedding, I would copy this code right here and I would paste that into a place where it asks for embed code in a website that I were creating.